Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 143. My name is Jason Erpelding. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Barrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and Buy and Sell DVC.com. And uh, today is November 1st, 2023, which means your 11-month booking window for your home resort is October 1st, 2024. And the seventh month, seventh month window is June 1st. Uh, 2024. Uh, we're going to go in right away to the buy and sell side of things. So last week's episode, if you didn't tune in, was was 2024, the year that you look to take the plunge yes, yes. to buy your DVC. Now this is it's 2024, <laughs> the year to sell your DVC ownership. And so these are the questions you need to ask yourself. Have you not used your points for a few years and have no thoughts of returning anytime soon. Uh, you need to ask yourself that question. Maybe, you know, you're just not using the points. You're, you've changed how you vacation, whatever the case may be. Uh, have you considered how you could use the money from the sale for other things, such as college expenses, maybe a vacation home down payment? I've had people selling their property because they want to buy a, it's a fifth wheel. They want to buy an RV, you know, those are things you may want to ask yourself. Have you, but now you have to ask yourself, have you completed all your dream trips with your DVC? You know, have you, have you been, maybe, maybe not Hilton Head is not your dream trip. I mean, I still want to go to Hilton Head, but I find that place to be almost impossible to get into because I don't own there and I really want to go there in the summer or spring break. Uh, have you been to Vero Beach? Have you been to Alani? Because really, I mean, the last thing you want to do is sell your DVC and then, you know, have to rent to stay at Alani because you're going to be shocked at the, the price you'd have to pay uh, to stay at Alani. Um, but, I mean, those are the questions you have to ask yourself. And if, it's, if it is the time to sell, we would be happy to help you sell. We try to make the process as smooth as possible. Um, if you are a domestic seller now, the closing company can actually arrange uh, for an online notary. So everything can be done basically from the comfort of your home. If you are an international seller, unfortunately that option is not available um, as of yet, but it's still pretty uh, easy to uh, sell your property. Um, but, and I, and, I, and I I would just say this, of course, not everybody that's selling um you know, gives a reason for selling. We don't, you know, there's no survey. And feel free to rent your points first. Yeah, yeah, you can also <laughs> rent your points out. Yes. Uh, don't forget us. But nobody, you know, like typically when someone is selling, they're, they're like I've never heard someone say that they're selling because, um, you know, they're disappointed with how it works or anything. It's just that they've, you know, they've changed how they vacation, how they travel or something has changed. Again, they want to use the money. Uh, for different purposes, it's usually not. I mean, sometimes it may be because it's gotten so popular because of this YouTube channel. Everyone keeps coming yes, down here yes. and the crowds are just getting busier and busier. I mean, we don't have the Taylor Swift effect, but maybe ours is just a tiny bit smaller than her effect. We, we, one of us needs to start dating somebody famous or something. <laughs> something needs to happen that knocks us up out of the stratosphere here. You need to do a sorry sweetie you with somebody <laughs> Super famous, I think. I think that might be a good idea. So, um, so that's on the uh, DVC buy and sell side of things. And now we are on to the food review of the week. Come here, I'm gonna eat you! Get in my belly! For today's food of the week, again, I am leaning on Debbie because I, I have not made it out to the parks. But right now she is at Epcot I've, I've seen this one before and I have not tried it. The, and I apologize for butchering this, but it's the croissant, au, A-U-X, eh, escargot. So snails <laughs> in a croissant with, with uh, garlic and parsley. It was $7.50. Uh, she wanted to specify, she, she bought these right before closing and it was something she's never tried before and she loves croissants. So she thought maybe it would be good. She went, I was wrong. <laughs> this is by far one of the worst items I have ever purchased at the Food and Wine Festival. 
The filling of the croissant was cold and dried up and kind of hard. Even the croissant itself was bad. You figured maybe you don't like the escargot, but you, you can't mess up the croissant in France. But they did. She said, I was expecting a really good Disney tasting croissant and it was nothing like that. I couldn't get past two small bites and I had to throw it away. She gives it a 2.1 and hopefully it was just that bad because it was the end of the night. And then maybe earlier it would have been a little bit better, but maybe it was because it was the end of the night. Maybe that's why it was a little more cold and hard. But 2.1, that's one of the lowest scores we've given anything on this show. So this is another big miss for Disney, unfortunately. I, I will tell you this. I'm trying to recall the last time I've had to throw food away. that I, I don't, I can't remember. That's pretty bad. Have you had escargot? Oh, yeah, but it's been a long, 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 I, long time. So I, I, I tried it. I have no memory of it. I, I, tried, I tried it on a cruise. I think it was last year because I said, you know what? A lot of them, almost every day, they've got like a, the garlic escargot. And I go, you know what? I'm going to try it because I'm never going to pay for this. So I wanted to try it. And it wasn't terrible. I, I had one. That's all I could put down because all I could picture was what I was eating. And I'm like, it was, the, again, the, the taste itself wasn't bad. And the texture was just a little chewy and stuff. But I was just like... I got the one down. I said, all right, it wasn't terrible, but I don't want another one. So I, I understand completely where she's coming from. <laughs> and now we are on to the DVC dash rental side of things. On the rental side, I don't think we've discussed it too much before, but I always want to specify that we've never really broken it down. That there are many different types of rooms that you could stay in size wise. Like, for, for example, there's the studios. The studios will sleep four to five, depending on the resort, whether or not they have the pull-down um, Murphy bed in the rooms. And the Murphy bed in, in the studios is underneath the television. Uh, the one bedrooms typically will sleep five. Um, Animal Kingdom Values and Copper Creek are the only, one be only resorts that the one bedrooms there only sleep four because the rooms are a bit smaller. So one bedrooms will sleep five. Some have pull-out chairs, and some of them, um, actually, some of them have the pull-out chairs, some of them have the flip-down beds, and then all, I, I, I mentioned in here, we meant, you mentioned it last week, is that all of them right now, it seems like, are going the way, instead of having the pull-out couches, they're all getting that Murphy bed pulling out of the wall. Um, in the two bedrooms, they sleep eight to nine, same exact thing, depending on the sleeper chairs, Murphy beds, You've got the Grand Villas, which will sleep up to 12. Those have three full bedrooms, you know, one king bed and then two queens in each of the rooms and then a pull-out couch in the living room. And then the main difference is the tree houses, which the tree houses are at Saratoga Springs. They sleep nine and with three bedrooms, but they only have, um, it comes with two queens, one bunk bed and one sleeper, so sleeper sofa. So those, those are your main breakdowns between them. And then plus also technically you've got the in-rooms at Vero Beach, which Shh. don't tell anybody about, but those in-rooms will sleep four and they have the two queen beds in the room. So essentially that's it. You know, the studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, the grand villas, which is what most resorts have. Some resorts don't have the grand villas. Most, most resorts have that layout. And then tree houses only at Saratoga Springs, in-rooms only at, uh, what was it, Vero Beach. Bungalows. You, got, you got bungalows at Polynesian and Boulder Ridge. I mean, Cut, well, yeah, Boulder Ridge, Copper Creek, Wilderness Lodge, so, which will sleep on uh, nine. This, that was a nine as well, right? Yeah, they're nine as well. But, but it's like, the, the, I just wanted to kind of touch on the main differences of what the different room types were. I figured we haven't kind of like gone over them in a while, how many they sleep. Um, on, on the DVC rental page, I know they have them under resort information. It'll kind of break down each resort, how many uh, square footage each room is. And how much the it'll give you breakdown layouts and stuff on on of every resort as well. By if you on the buy and sell page, is, is there resort layout information? Or I don't, yeah, yeah. That, okay, so same exact thing as the buy and sell. My apologies, but that was basically all I had for. And that of one. course, though, you know the points, you know they vary. Like uh, um, like he mentioned the uh, in room at Bureau Beach. So if you get a standard in room. It's, say, the week of Memorial Week, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's 10 points a night for each of those nights. If you stay in Ocean View Room, I think it's 13 points a night. So everything, you know, there's little differences. Oh, yeah. And then if you, and then Friday and Saturday nights, the point values go up. 
And, again, and, and as you mentioned, yeah, like different, again, these are just the types of room. And then like Animal Kingdom has a value room, a value view, and a standard view, and a savanna view. And then technically they have a club level. So every resort has the different types of rooms and then the different views from those rooms. So there's a large combination of stuff you can put together. And uh, a lot of people like the studios. I mean, uh, yeah, the studios fill up the fastest because they require the least amount of points. Stu studios always fill up the fastest. Least uh, amount of money. Least amount of money. It's the, the, it's the least expensive way to stay at the best resorts. One bedrooms are the least in demand because the, the, all the studios the sleep. Jump. Yeah, the, all studios yeah. sleep four or five, and then the one bedrooms, which come with a full kitchen, washer dryer, a whirlpool tub, king bed, also sleep four or five. So a lot of times, a lot of people don't see the value in having the larger room with all the amenities, and it's about double the price of the studio. So the studios mo first le most in demand, one bedrooms least in demand, just just because again sleeping about the same amount and a lot more money. But again, I mean once. Once you've stayed in one of the one bedrooms or two bedrooms, it's kind of tough to go back to the studios because you do feel more, you feel more cramped in them. And it's nice to be able to spread out on vacation and also have, let me just washer and dryer alone sometimes is wonderful to have, especially if you're going to a Vero Beach, you know, somewhere where you're going to be going in the pools or going in the ocean a decent amount where you're going to want to rinse out your clothes or get the sand out or clean, you know, clean up a little bit. It's, it's nice to have the washer and dryers in the rooms. And those are in the one bedrooms and up. Plus, I, I mean, again, this is just my opinion, of course, but I think some people that may be responsible for the cooking in the family, they may say, uh, we're not booking a one bedroom because I don't want you to give you the hint that I plan on cooking. I've heard a lot That's of people say that. I don't mind it. I Again, I, I live locally. So what, what we typically do, it's silly. We'll go for like a night or two. And a lot of times I'll just bring a thing of like Pillsbury cookie dough. And just, just so we can make nice warm cookies in the hotel room. I always think that's, that's fun because it's something to do. It makes the hotel room smell nice and everything. And then you sit there with nice warm, fresh cookies just because you have that option. And they, 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 they I think they have pan, I'm not, I'm not positive about the cookie pans. You could probably get like a cookie sheet, but I know we always bring one of ours from home just to throw it in there. And again, just some cookie dough. And we, we've cooked in the, I've cooked breakfast in the rooms and stuff before. We've, we've cooked di dinners, especially with something. Um, like a like a special meal, like for like a Thanksgiving or an Easter or something. You, we, we've cooked in rooms like that as well. It's nice. It's a nice option to have. But while the rooms cost more money, you figured if you if you prefer to eat in the rooms, it's going to save you a lot of money on your vacation as well because the Disney food is, is expensive, <laughs> and you can save a lot of money by cooking breakfast or dinners. And you know, doing one meal a day in your room could save you you know a couple hundred dollars a day off of your bill. So it. it it can even out to even the thrifty people may want to upgrade to that one bedroom just to have that option. And so for the family of five out there, all, they're going to ask you, what studios sleep five? <laughs> Do you know that off the top of your head? Or? Let's see. Let me go one by one. So Animal Kingdom does not. Beach Club, Boardwalk, both sleep five. Bay Lake Tower does not. Grand Floridian, Polly, both sleep five. Riviera sleeps five. Old Key West, Saratoga Springs do not. Boulder Ridge does. Copper Creek does not. I think that's it for Walt Disney World property. Did I miss any? I don't think so. Um, Hilton think Head does not. Right? Hilton know. Head does not. Uh, uh, none of them. None of the other ones do. No, no Hilton Head. No Vero Beach. No Disneyland. No uh, Alani. Alani. All those studios sleep for. All right. Appreciate the breakdown. Yeah, thanks for putting me on the spot for that yeah, one. No but I think problem. I got it. <laughs> Be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and come back and see us next week, and hopefully uh, we have a food review that's on the positive I, side. I hope so. But also make sure you check out our social media. Again, we're on TikTok, you know, under, at DVC Scott, but we're, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. We haven't done Twitter in a while because Twitter seems to be kind of dying a little bit. But again, check out our social media. And again, come to Facebook and check out our, our group. It's, it's Disney Vacation Club Resales DVC. Fun group. There's a, a lot of people in there now. It keeps growing. And there's a lot of great discussion about all Disney stuff, not just about like renting or about purchasing. But again, you can get some great info in there. And again, understand that, you know, we have skin in the game with this with the rental and the resale companies. So if you've got a regular question about rentals or resales, feel free to come in there and post it. And, you, you know, you'll get actual responses from people who are not associated with us. You'll have, you know, unbiased opinions. But we always try to be as, as, uh, 
unopinionated as you possibly can, and we try to be, we try to steer you in, in the best direction. To be and if you have a trip coming, and you're famous again, and want me to, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> do if you have a trip coming again, I, you know, Scott's obviously you can't just go anywhere on a on a on a whim, but if you're trying to set up a food review with Scott, Tay Tay. If just you, let him know. Taylor, if, if you're seeing this video, just let me know. We'll, we'll do some food review together. Come back and see us next week. Have a wonderful day.